Hi, Justin Roiland, uh, um, uh, co-creator of Accounting Plus, uh, voice actor on it, and uh, yeah, did a little bit right. Uh, well, you know, uh, jack of some trades. Hello, I'm William Pugh. I'm co-creator on Accounting. I did level design, general like, design, a bit of writing, a bit of everything. This guy. Bit of everything. Got my hands all over it. So when you guys are making a video game, do you treat it any differently than any other form of media, like a television show, cartoon, feature film? For me, uh, so video games I feel like are a little bit freer. I don't know why. I definitely, I guess probably because there's more to do than just sit back and passively watch. Uh, so you, you can get away with a bit more. Accounting Plus, I feel like narratively c couldn't be more different in terms of the process of writing you know usually in television we're we're breaking story and we're we're making sure we're tracking an emotional arc and we're like you know satisfying the audience staying ahead of the audience surprising the audience whatever making them laugh blah 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 i mean this w we were making ourselves laugh we were, we were doing all that but we weren't worried about like a cohesive you know structural arc and emotional arc and it was more just like crazy madness that's for this game. I think I think other games that I'm working on, yes, we're, I'm applying similar philosophies to television writing, uh, where it's like there is an emotional arc, there is uh, a strong uh, structural foundation narratively. Um, but you do you, you should talk too because you, you you do a ton of great fucking narrative stuff. In games. Uh yeah, like uh my like my primary medium is video games like i think even there's there's a difference between designing for vr and for normal normal games like i think there's a there's a huge like there's a huge huge huge, huge uh amount of difference between like even how you approach those two things narratively speaking like uh, having having a presence in like in VR, you have a physical presence within the space, so you can play with a lot of things like physical comfort of like a character being too close to you. But you can tap into a lot of other like uh, physical kind of primal uh, responses, primal. primal responses primal fear. with by <laughs> by putting range. putting the person in the in the space. Other uh, things that start with the word primal. So you know, you, you mentioned presence just now in VR. Uh, can you talk a little bit about how? The voice in Accounting Plus really keeps people like engaged but from the very beginning with things like the phone. Uh, just how you guys are kind of—it's oh, it felt like you guys were trolling me at times, almost. It's like I'm, I feel so stupid that I didn't do this thing for a while. But at the same time, because you're blathering on at me, it like enhances the experience. It kind of like uh, just talk about what you guys did to make each environment uh, enhanced by voice. Like I think um, the the general tone of Accounting Plus is angry. Like it's it's not a it's not a happy game. Like you've got some kind of peaceful meditative experiences in Vienna. You got like sound self and stuff like that. And then you've got Accounting, which is about as far as you can go in terms of having a game actively not want you to play it right now. And it like it employs sound uncomfortable visuals like characters being too close to you Screaming characters you. yeah characters getting like in like super sexual with you and like an embarrass you know so much so that it's just embarrassing and it like it just makes you not want to be my, my my friend my friend Misha uh, played it and asked me if it was a stress simulator <laughs> she's like she got she got to tree world and she's like is this she like t takes the headset off she's like, is this a, like a stress simulator and I was like, "Whoa, that's interesting." I've uh, no, but that's cool that you're feeling. Are you feeling stressed? I would love to see people's heart rate. You know, just like track their heart rate on their on their little Apple watches. I got my Apple watch on today. I'm a real techie guy. But uh, yeah, uh, man, I don't know. I, I definitely like when we when we anything. I all your your stuff is that way. Like all your stuff is is very like just engaging. Uh, the player with with voice acting and like you know just super fucking smart and I don't know it's a very good collaboration because I, I like that's the stuff I want to do too like in games it's like you know like these guys you know the first thing that you hear in this game is the phone ringing that's the first thing you hear so you know immediately okay task number one answer the phone remember it used to be actually pick up and hold it in this first room we decided to go with speakerphone just because it's so important to hear what's being you know it's like it's easier 
and with the handheld it's too easy to like you know move it and throw it whatever but uh but yeah so and then these guys it's william and dom doing the voice of the of the two guides we call them the guides i guess in the game and right away you're engaged you're listening to them they're telling you what to do and you're and they're yelling at you and it's like yeah like I remember when when we were writing that first segment, it's like uh, you were di- the direction was to just keep repeating it. Yeah. Just like it's like keep ha- hammering the same point home. And and, and uh, by the way, like he's if you listen to the audio, you don't. I love it so much, but you're not even correct in what you're saying because we didn't have it designed yet. So you're like, or we kind of did, but you're you're like you're like, like the down. thing on the table. Push down on. It. That's not how it works. You don't push down on it. But he's like, push down on the thing on the table. It's a big boxy thing. It's gray. It's red. There's a red part. It's like we didn't even know if that's what it was. It's like that. We'll, we'll make it that. But yeah, and you're yelling at the player, and then eventually it gets clearer. You know, you continue like repeating it, and you get more focused in terms of what they're supposed to do. Pull up on the thing. And then, you know, but that was all just improv. That was just like, we knew, I mean, we were just like game jamming. So it was like really fast. And I don't know, that kind of looseness, like to, to embrace that and like to not be afraid to like keep that is, is that's, that's what I want to do in games. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's a good pairing between like game jam mentality, like the idea of like the principles behind like doing a game jam, finishing something quickly. And also like a lot of your was specific to your history as a creative of like working on channel one on one, yeah, working on things to be shown, like short fi- five minutes or less stuff. You make those over like a month or yep. something. Yep. There's like combining those I think I think the in- I think a lot of what's special about accounting is combining those two principles. Like the I like the like you've got a history of like doing like creating worlds creating characters quickly getting them down getting like the fight like the audio or the video or whatever quickly and then it's a process of editing and then never watching them again <laughs> just getting them out of my system and then walking away and then like you marry that to like uh like the in indie game jamming style stuff especially if you're like okay yeah we'll put a physics engine in there we'll add the stuff like picking up putting down and then from that point it's just like you can make anything with asset store stuff unity's asset store and yeah. unreal's unreal's uh, asset store like you can like if you've got a bit of if you've got enough to like spend a bit on like packs like you can get you can work so yeah. quickly you can get trees i mean to, but just buy the trees i mean you know buy the bushes who cares y- your game doesn't need another you don't need to design a tree from scratch just buy it save yourself the trouble now a lemming or a weird goblin or something yeah you know make it go ahead and make it but a tree no one's gonna notice that so talk about accounting plus this is like not necessarily a sequel but there's something better about this game what's better about this game how much more accounting is there to add the plus symbol oh man there's counting twice <laughs> oh there's multiple countings now yeah uh, there's there's like five account there's five countings in this game that's why we added the plus um but no this game has so a lot more co- content in it like a lot double to three times the amount of content depending on what you're consuming in the game uh, from the original free version and you know the free version was sloppy this one's got that polish the free ver- the free accounting original was it was good you know we all liked it but we're saying not that all of us there's a couple bad reviews but you know, whatever <laughs> That's fine, that's fine, to each their own, you know? But we're saying accounting plus is plus... A bunch of new content. Plus, but yeah, and it's, and it's... Sorry, <laughs> there's more... Air on this, sorry, go ahead. There's more, there's more stuff. There's a lot more content in accounting plus. That's where the plus comes from. Uh, this particular version of accounting is the, to date, is the biggest with the most content. I'm sure there'll be another version in the future that will have even more content. We're going to do a different approach to DLC where uh, rather than DLC, we're just going to release everything that exists with new content attached to it. So you don't have to buy DLC. You just you just buy the game again, but it'll be cheap and easy on the wallet. Easy decision to make, right? 
Absolutely. 100% <laughs> everything you just said, Thank you were 100% on it. Thank God. Uh, we've got we've got new we got new characters, we've got new worlds, we've got new we got new emotion, new stuff. We got hidden levels. No, I don't know. <laughs> so is the next accounting plus going to be called accounting plus 1? Well, no comment. Well, hold no on, comment. hold on. I just no want to say I'm not going to answer it, but I am going to say that there are we, we when we were working on accounting, we discovered that there are 10 numbers, 10 core zero. numbers, if you count zero. So one through nine and zero, zero being the 10th one. And so we, and then if you combine, if you take those numbers, you can build so many numbers out of them. So many numbers. So if we do another accounting, there's all kinds of ways we could go with the name. Like it could be accounting, accounting minus, plus. Accounting time, multiply. Multiply, yeah. Or it could be a combination of those core numbers. Counting minus one. Yeah, counting plus, and then some sort of formation of numbers. We don't know, but we did. We did figure out because Wait, it is what a. Was the last one? What's that? What did you just I say? just said accounting, accounting plus some, some formation, formation of numbers. Of numbers. I, I mean, what maybe <laughs> that's the title. Accounting plus some formation of numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, look for it in a couple Ocul years. Oculus pays us. We, yeah, <laughs> we just do that. <laughs> look for it in, in a year uh, or however long. Uh, yeah, there'll be new spaces, new rooms, new hidden levels. Uh, but no, I mean, yeah, we, we, we definitely learned about accounting in the process of making this game and that was one of the big things we learned was there's nine or there's ten numbers at core numbers core base numbers in which all other numbers are derived from so you pick a number you I don't care what it is a thousand it's built on those ten numbers which fucking blew our minds we're like what there has to be more than ten nope just ten but you that's including zero so one through nine and zero people hear ten that is two of them one and zero. Give me that. <laughs> you can get you can get accounting plus on PlayStation VR on the nineteenth of December. And you can go to the website accountingpl.us for more information. It's and it's nineteen no fuck. It's twelve it's ten it's, easy it's, payments. It's eleven it's ten easy payments of one dollar. Or sorry, it's eleven ninety nine. It's 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 twelve easy payments of one dollar. Twelve easy payments of one dollar. One cents off. It's eleven ninety nine. But if you if you pre order it, it's all this percentage off. You get fifteen percent <laughs> off. Got two producers in the room. <laughs> in the room, and they're shouting over to us the price of our game. <laughs> it's eleven ninety nine. And then it's 15% off if you pre-order it, and you save 15%. Do the math. Let's do it. What is 15%? Yesterday we said 20%. Well, whatever. No one knows the difference. What people don't? We can't even figure it out. What is 15% off? What would that be for $12? What's 15% off of 12? It's ten dollars and nineteen cents. That is a steal. Oh, no. Now, what would twenty percent off be? What would that be? I don't know. What would like it be? 12. No one knows. That's why we got got away with it yesterday. People are like, "Oh, it is on sale. I'm gonna buy it." And no one's crunching the numbers. No one cares. No one's looking at the stuff. People, we are living in a crazy sham world. No one's crunching and looking at at at, at these things. That's why I said twenty percent. No one called me out on it. Because they just saw that it was on sale, and they clicked a button and pre-ordered it, which is good. You should pre-order it. You'll get some money off. But also, it's eleven ninety-nine if you don't, and that's that's a good number. Eleven ninety-nine or twelve easy payments of one dollar. <laughs>